Hi everybody and welcome back to Life Full of Zest. Today I'm going to be giving you five fundamental Pilates exercises. These are perfect exercises that will give you a beautiful foundation for Pilates. If you are new to Pilates, this is a perfect workout for you. This is a perfect opportunity for you to get into a good habit of Pilates. Pilates is for anybody, so come and join me. We are going to be starting in the center of our mats, lying down. Let's get into that supine position. We are going to be starting with our pelvic curl. Let's take a deep breath in. I want your feet a foot and a half away from your glutes and a fist width apart from one another. I want that pelvis in that horizontal plane. So that pubic bone and those hips need to be in that beautiful horizontal plane, allowing that natural lower lumbar arch in your back let's suck in that pelvic floor let's activate that tummy let's take a deep breath in and on that exhale we are tilting and tucking in that pelvis up towards the ceiling and then peeling it off the ground one vertebra at a time all the way up 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 i want you to make sure that your last rib try and get it on the floor but even though you're dropping that rib on the floor i want you to work a little bit harder to lift those hips a little bit higher we're drawing those shoulders onto the ground keeping those knees tucked in and centralized we don't want them falling out so we're activating those glutes deep breath in exhale slowly tucking and dropping that pelvis back to center that's one we're going to do six of these exhale slowly rolling back up articulating through that spine one vertebra at a time dropping that back rib but emphasizing that glute activation to keep that height of that pelvis deep breath in exhale down that's two keep going inhale exhale lifting back up that's three inhale exhale slowly down we halfway getting that activation you should feel it in your core and into those glutes all the way up inhale exhale down last one inhale exhale slowly coming back up 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 pushing the shoulders into the ground and we're just going to hold in this position for 10 counts but while we do it, I want you to emphasize that pelvic tilt, emphasize that glute activation and digging those heels into the ground. And five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly rolling back down towards the floor. We're going to go into leg changes. So we're going to activate that tummy and in that exhale we are going to lift right leg into tabletop and slowly toe tap we're going to start with just that toe tap with that right leg again focusing on maintaining that pelvic positioning sucking belly to spine using your core to work and let's do three more inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down and last one dropping that right leg down deep breath in exhale left leg up inhale down making sure that you are keeping that lower abdominal activation that's two we're doing six on each side before we go over onto our leg changes and last two and lifting up we're going to keep that leg there we're going to inhale and on that exhale we are changing over so we are dropping left leg and lifting right leg into tabletop and inhale change exhale change inhale change exhale change inhale change keep going and last one on each leg lifting left leg up right leg down left leg down we're going to interlace our hands comfortably behind our head elbows are in our periphery remember keeping that pelvis in neutral we're going to inhale exhale lifting head neck and chest off the ground inhale to pause exhale slowly back down 
and inhale exhale slowly back up inhale exhale back down that's two and three we've got three more making sure that those shoulders aren't lifting up towards your ears last one on that last one we're going to push a little bit harder we're going to lift up lift a little bit higher if you can we're going to inhale and on that exhale we're rotating left rib towards right hip back to center sucking belly in try not to rotate that pelvis keeping it in neutral and you are not using your shoulders to do the rotation you're rotating at that level of your waist rib to hip last one on each side back to center slowly coming back into supine position hugging knees to chest we're going to turn over onto our right hand sides and i want us to rest our heads on our lower arm deep breath in shoulders hips and knees are all aligned this hand I want to be in front of you for stability. We're going to stack those hips, stack those shoulders. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift those hips up towards the, those knees up towards the ceiling and slowly back down. Just to hover. We're not dropping to relax. We're just dropping to hover. That's two. And three. Keep going. And four. And five. Last one. We're going to lift and hold for 10 seconds. If you struggle to maintain balance on your hips, you tend to have that hip bone. Just keep holding for another five, four, three, two, one, and slow. Last one, we're going to lift and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly down and turning over onto your tummy. We're going to bring our hands onto our sides, going into back extension, hands on your hips and extended, drawing the scaps down that back, neck in neutral. We're going to inhale, exhale, slowly lifting head, neck and chest up towards the ceiling, keeping core tight and inhale down. Exhale up, that's two, core nice and tight and slowly down. I want you to draw those shoulders down, scaps down the back, and apply pressure of your hands into your hips. Sucking in that pelvic floor. Last one, we're going to lift and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And slowly coming down, we're going to turn over onto that left hand side. Getting into that same positioning, resting that head on that lower arm shoulders hips and ankles all align deep breath in and as we exhale we're lifting those legs if you struggle to balance on that hip i tend to struggle because of that bone in this region you can just bring your feet slightly more forward which will help you maintain that balance but you want to make sure that you're activating correctly as well to keep that good balance let's inhale exhale lift inhale down that's one exhale up inhale down two and three keep going Re resting that head on your lower arm four and five and last one we're going to lift and hold for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and slowly coming down let's turn over onto our backs we're going to bend our knees feet on the floor we're going to bring our hands onto our sides and we're going to walk our hands all the way up so we can walk ourselves into a seated position thank you for joining me during that pilates for beginners workout i hope it's encouraged and inspired you to continue working out and doing these kinds of exercises see you in the next video